Welcome to my channel. I hope you like this new story of two girls who may have never met if it wasn't for an accident. Oh, uh, hey there. I was wondering if I could sit here with you. I know there's a lot of seats, but you looked a little lonely. Thank you. <clears throat> So, is this your first mixer? Oh, that's cool. I went to one a few years back, but I didn't stay long. I know these things are apparently a good place to get to know new people and maybe find a person to date. Though, I'm a big introvert, so this is... Uh, bit much for me, with all the people and the loud music and dancing, it is a bit overwhelming. Well, the loud music is okay, but it's mainly the people. I prefer to talk one-on-one -on -one like this. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Though, it's cool that people can find someone to date at these mixers. I usually get one or two drinks and then I dip. Yeah, that's what I did. And I'm kind of doing the same thing this time. I've already got a glass of wine. This time I want to actually try and talk to a few people, you know, so I can maybe at least get some friends this time around. I've always had a hard time making friends. Oh, <laughs> I'm a girl who likes to play video games, fish, and play baseball and soccer. I've always had weird hobbies for a girl. I never liked shopping or makeup like the rest of them. Though I do like some shared sports like softball and soccer. I have a few friends from those sports, but not many. I recently lost a lot of those friends for a certain reason. Um, then there's guys. Guys usually don't want to hang out with me. They'd rather date me because I play games as a hobby like them. It gets rather annoying? No, tiresome. People usually don't like weird people like me. They usually leave after knowing me for a few years. <sighs> well, that's the problem. I'm not really into guys. I'm actually gay. Well, I'm a lesbian and that's the reason why a lot of my old friends are no longer my friends. <clears throat> So I'd rather have guy friends and a girlfriend. Girls usually don't want to be my friend because they are afraid I'll fall for them. It's only happened like two times out of the 30 friends I had, so they didn't have to worry, but they did. That's good to know. I kind of thought you were straight by how you talked about your ex. You seem like a really kind girl. Hell, you seem like a real keeper, so why did he leave you? What the hell? 
that's why he broke up with you? Because you were in a car crash and can no longer move your legs? He's such a fucking asshole. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yell. Great. Now everyone is staring. <clears throat> I mean, you can't really tell you can't walk. At least from what I can see. Oh, yeah, the wheelchair. I can barely see it from here. So, you came here to find another person to date then? <sighs> they also sound like assholes. They just left you here and they aren't gonna have fun with you? I guess it's good. They got you out of the house, but still. <laughs> Maybe I can make it better. How about I get you a drink? What do you want? Oh, okay. No alcohol then. How about I get you a non-alcoholic drink? Uh, let me check and see what they can do. I'll be right back. Hey, do you guys sell non-alcoholic drinks? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. I'll be back. They have water, orange juice, tomato juice, and they can make virgin drinks. Those don't come with alcohol in them. So, what do you want? OJ, I can get that for you. And I'll take care of this and get myself something too while I'm getting forced. Hey, can I have a glass of OJ without alcohol and a Bloody Mary, please? Thank you. Here you go. I watch them and there's no alcohol in it, so no need to worry. Mm. Oh, are you sure? I can if you want. Okay. Yep. There's no alcohol in it. You weren't really checking for that? What were you really checking for then? Well, you've been through a lot then. I've never been drugged before. I can understand your logic. Like, if I did drug your drink, you wouldn't want to drink it. Maybe a good way to check if they did. If they did, you can see how they react, like how they refuse or how they act after drinking. If they seem normal, you can drink it. If they don't, then don't drink it. I'm guessing that's how it goes. Okay, so they could pretend to drink. I get that, but how does that piece of paper help you figure out if it's drugged? Oh, that's handy, but do they work with acidic drinks? You think so? Well, if it goes off, I'll just drink it all. I know it's safe. It's nice that it's discreet, though. That would be more discreet. Though waiting for this one is not fun. 
it gets awkward for you to drop a few drops of the drink on it, then you have to wait and see if it's positive or not. Hey, it's changing. I'm guessing that's not good. Hey, don't say that. I didn't drug it. I'd like a girlfriend someday, but I don't want to, you know, do that to someone. I just... Here, I'll drink it. I'd rather not waste my money like that. It's not a funny joke. If you knew the acid in the drink would trigger it, why order an acid drink? Well, I didn't find it funny. Hope you found it funny. Well, that was more of a panic like it was actually drugged. Because somebody wanted to take me away and I didn't know it. Also, the fact I had a drink of it, and what would happen to me if it was drugged, kind of scared me. Ah, I see. Men would react like that if you suspected them of drugging you. Well, if you don't want to drink it, you don't have to. After being drugged before, I can understand why. Why did you call yourself a cripple? You look fine to me. Is that why your boyfriend broke up with you? It is, isn't it? What a scumbag move. It's not like you asked to be in an accident and lose the ability to use your legs. You know what? Maybe it's good he left. If he can't handle you at your lowest point like this, then you can't trust him in any other low point in your life. Probably. Well, when somebody really loves you, they will try and stay with you and help you even if you go through something so terrible. It seems to me you were dating a leaf. When the wind changes, they fall off the tree, the tree being you, or see more of a branch because when you put a little weight on him, he just snapped under the pressure. Hmm. Maybe your friends here are leaves. They stay with you for a bit, but when winter comes, they disappear. You need to find some roots. They don't leave the tree. They help it and keep it grounded for its whole life. Oh, it's not my idea. It was from a guy who plays a character called Medea. He also has movies, and they are funny, but I remember watching and hearing that, and it makes a whole lot of sense. I recommend watching it if you can, especially when you need a good laugh. Did you lose your job too because of the accident? Why? That's messed up. So what if you missed a few weeks because you were in a bad accident? So what if they didn't want you because they think having someone in a wheelchair as a receptionist is a bad idea? It sounds like you can sue them for wrongful termination, especially if you were a full-time worker and the accident wasn't your fault. Well, maybe I can help. My brother is a lawyer, and he may know somebody who specializes in cases like yours. If you want some help with it. I see. My name and number so you can text me if you want help with your work situation. I 
may be able to find you another job if needed. I've been told that a lot, but the only reason why I'm so kind is because I've gone through a lot. Many people have gone through hard times, so I'd rather be a beacon for someone rather than be the last push someone needs to finally end it all. <sighs> That's stuff I would rather not tell a stranger. <laughs> if you become my friend, I may tell you some of my past, but not all of my past some stuff you have to keep close to the chest until you die. Now, best friends and whoever I end up with can know more than my other friends and family do. Yeah, maybe, but that's up to you. Also, I've only told you a bit because you've told me some sensitive stuff about how you got here. I may not know the details, but I have a good idea on how you got here. Well, uh, I need to mingle more. Feel free to text me tonight so I know your number too. <laughs> good. Well, good luck. I do hope you had fun tonight talking with me. I know I did. Hopefully I can see you again soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to my new series. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can be notified of more in the future. Bye-bye!